Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another radio video. And like I said in the previous video, I was going to make another video about a recent eBay purchase. And here it is. Is the, let me zoom in there. The ICOM ICPCR100 computer control receiver. It is not an SDR. And, um,. It is actually before even uh, before SDRs were out. This is actually um, the second model. The first one was the PC, IC PCR 1000, and that one uh, basically the same as this one, except that one had a single uh, single sideband. This one does not have single sideband. And this one, I, I believe, when it first came out, it, around 2000. I'm not sure, not sure the exact date. I think it was around 2000. This was about 200 dollars. Uh, I paid 75 dollars. Free shipping from eBay, and um, let me just go over it real quickly here. As you can see, it has an RS232 serial port. This is the external speaker, and actually, um, this for the computers will go into your computer. Your computer has to have line in, and or you can use a microphone, but there's a thing about that. But anyway, your power, DC, 12 volt, your ground, and your antenna, your BNC. Okay. And um, let me just put it right there. There we go. And then this is the, uh, zoom in there a little bit. This is the power adapter, 12 volt. Um, and it came, uh, I bought it came with this, and it also came with, some software and some manual. There is a mod for it, but I'm not going to be doing that. And um, PCR. Is the, the ICOM has their own software for this, which is okay. But um, also, um, then I bought this guy on uh, Amazon. This is a Serial 2 USB. Because I don't have, I mean, I do have an older computer that have the Serial, but it still work fine. And this is the driver. That cable cost me like six dollars, I think. And this is the driver for the cable. Now this um the range is from ten kilohertz up to one point three gigahertz. And there is a gap. The cellular cellular services uh obviously you cannot access that. So this is a wide band radio. So you can go all the way down to ten kilohertz. That's VLF. All the way up to um, UHF. So I'm going to be playing around with that. And make videos on it. Also. Um, this. You can run it on a 486. On a Pentium 100. I mean that's the. the for, for, and up to uh, Windows 95. 98. Um, of course I have it on my laptop. Which is Windows 7. It works fine. I played around with it. The only issue I had with it was. Um, even though shielded has metal shielding inside Put this very close you get a lot you get some noise. So I have extension USB extension. I plan to Try to keep it as far away as from the from the computer as possible minimize the noise But yeah, it's susceptible to that, but I've been playing around with it. It's pretty cool. Again, it's no Sideband no single sideband and the software That comes with it. It's okay. I mean, you know, I mean, you can tell it's really dated. You can tell it's Windows 95, 98 type. But there's a website that they made a Java version of the software. It's called PCR Anywhere. And that tuner, that software tuner is nice. It looks very, nah, that looks more up to date. It looks really nice. That's the one I've been using for this one. The other one that came, the one that come to Icon make is pretty cumbersome. And it's pretty, it has, a, it's pretty slow. When you tune, it's like a delay. The PCR, PCR anywhere, um, is pretty it's nice. It's, I like that one much better. And that's the one I'm gonna be using a lot. That's the one I'm gonna be. I'll make a few videos on it. And um, so again, seventy five dollars free shipping. Um, I had bid it on the PCR one thousand. No, not the one thousand. It was fifteen hundred a few months back, but I lost that bid. And I could have got that one. I was trying to get that one for under a hundred, but I saw this one, seventy-five dollars. Uh, buy now, 
there was no um make offer so i went ahead and just bought it because i was wanted to get one of these for a while now of course you know during that time uh, they still make them when when radio the older models you know the rs232 so i guess they were like uh they got into the market because of wind. I don't know. The wind radio got into the market as a demo. I think wind radio has been doing it for since the nineties. So I guess they, Icom decided to get into that market, and they only made a few, and then I think they stopped making. I'm trying to remember which is the last PCR model they made. I'm sure somebody will put in the comments below and tell me which is the last model. Because I've seen the PCR one thousand to fifteen hundred. I don't know. I have, I don't know. If there's another one after that. I'm not sure. But anyway, seventy five dollars. I'm gonna uh, play around with it. And this one, I'm gonna probably use it. I'm gonna do videos here, but I'm most likely gonna use this one with my netbook, which is pretty old. Now, netbook. I had that since two thousand and five. Now, with Windows X, X XP. So I mean, also PCR anyway. They do have a Mac version and a Linux version, and they also have a Raspberry Pi. So you can you can you know set this. It's, although the Raspberry Pi is, um, I think it's just um, beta. I'm not sure, but I know they have Linux version, Mac version, and of course Windows. So there you go. I'm just trying to make this video a little short, but it's over. It's gonna be on to six, seven minutes. Anyway, so there you go. Seventy-five dollars. If you like the video, this extension right there. This is the. Uh, no, my son is uh, running around upstairs. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't just subscribed to my channel, please do. And with that, I bid you uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.